Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Accurate. This is Ashank David and in today's video we are going to talk about method overriding. So what is method overriding and how it is uh, related to polymorphism and overloading? What is this overloading? What is this overriding? Let us talk about all these things in this video guys. So before we start this video, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So let's, without any further ado, let's get right into the topic. I'm going to start now. So what is overriding? What do you mean by method overriding in this case? So before that, you need to understand how polymorphism works and how overloading works. So in polymorphism and overloading, we have already created the videos for both polymorphism and overloading. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will give the link in the description below. You can go ahead and watch that video also. And I'll give the link in the i button as well. So in this i button, if you click onto this i button, you'll go to that video and you can see that video right now. After that, now we have understood that what is polymorphism. Whenever we talk about polymorphism, polymorphism means many different forms of same particular thing. So basically in polymorphism, what happens is same name functions works differently, right? So in this case, we'll have the same function, but it will do multiple different tasks. So it can do this also, it can do this also, it can do this also. So it's like that. So that is basically the aim of doing polymorphism. Now we have something called as overloading and overriding where in overloading the same name functions are going to be written in the same class itself. But in case of overriding now there will be multiple classes and inside the multiple classes there will be exactly same name functions written. But in that case the one class is going to be the parent class and all the other remaining classes are going to be the child class. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I have two classes. So I have this class called A and inside this class, I have a function called as dev show. Now inside this show, I am printing A is shown. Okay. Now, if I create an object of A class, it is going to print that object can access this show method, right? Which is right there in the A class, right? So right now, if I run this code, it is going to directly print the whatever is printing inside the show. So A is shown is going to be printed. So this in function is invoked. Okay, but now let us say I have another class called B and inside this, for time being, I'm not writing anything. And if I, I have written this pass keyword so you can leave your class empty by just writing pass and now let's say this is an object of b class and now if i try to access this show method if i run this it will give me an error that b object has no attribute show means b class doesn't have any method called as show because you have written pass right now b doesn't have its own method called show but a class has so this object won't work but what if this class started inheriting a class so b inherits a now this show will work right that means now if i run this code you will see that a is shown will be printed so as soon as we invoke the show method this show method was searched inside this b class but because it was not there so it will go in this class it will look for the same method in this class but that now this method will be found and now it will invoke this method and a is shown will be printed right so this is the example of inheritance but when we want to override this method say suppose now i have same name method inside b class okay and inside this you can see that the this uh, logo came right this icon came overriding method in a so if i just what i'll do if i just change the body here b is shown this time okay so what now we have done we have done overriding where first we took this function show into this b class and then i have changed it its body so now this show function got overridden by the show function which was there in the b class i hope you understood this well right so now if i say obj equals to b and then so it, it is going to be an object of b and if i say dot show it will still print b is shown but in this case now b has overridden the method which was there inside its body and it has overridden the method for the a class method which was def show so this way we have overridden this method 
by this method. This is what we call as overriding. To understand overriding, see right now I am just taking examples of class A and class B. But let's say, take a real time example. See, I have two classes. Class mom. I said class mom. And inside the body of class mom, I said def cook. So mom can cook, right? So I'm saying print mom can cook Indian. Okay. Now I have another class called daughter. Okay. Now in this class, so right now daughter can't inherit uh, daughter can't cook on her own. She has to inherit this cook function from her mom in order for her to cook. So now here I can say that daughter is inheriting mom and now the same function can be written here. So now daughter inherited mom's function but daughter can't cook Indian. Daughter can cook let's say Italian. So daughter has taken that cook function from mom but she has overridden that function. So if mom can cook Indian then daughter can cook Italian. And this is what we call as overriding. Because until if I, del if I delete this, if I don't inherit this class, now daughter has, it, has, has her own method called cook. Where dot this method is separate, this method is only personal to daughter class and this method is only personal to mom class. This is not overriding. I am taking that method first and then I am changing its body. So that is what we call as overriding. So that is why inheritance is very important in case of overriding well overriding is a very important concept and in future also we are going to use the same concept so much in so many places it's used in in our day to day lives it is going to be used so many places when you will do java object oriented concepts you will learn about interfaces and abstract classes there also we apply overriding so overriding is a very important concept and here, this is a very commonly used concept that we use a lot. So, you have to remember some few points into this that for doing overriding, your inheritance is very important. So, until and unless your child class inherits the parent class, it won't do overriding. Overriding means first taking that function and to take that function, we need to inherit the parent class and then only child can do this. Now, if I let's say, if I say def baking. So def baking function, baking function is only a personal function for daughter class. While mom can't bake, but daughter can bake. So daughter can bake, let's say print cake, right? So this baking function is only local to this daughter class. That means daughter can bake. This is her own property, but this cook property, she has taken it from her mom and but she has overridden it. So mom can cook it Indian, so daughter can cook Italian, but this dev baking function is personal. Okay. So this is, this is just the normal function. So not to make you confused, I can just say this and if I create an object of daughter class, let's say. And now if I say obj dot cook, what it should print? It should print Italian, not Indian. So you can see it says Italian. Now I hope you have understood this uh, very well, guys. It's a very important concept. It's used so many times. In future also, it is going to be used so many times. So be ready for it. And if you have any doubts into this, Tell us in the comment section below and we are going to help you out as soon as possible. So I hope you have liked this video guys. That's it for this video. Before leaving, please share share this video. Like, share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future update. This is Ashang David signing off. That's it for this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy learning.